Hi, this is Soulgazer. So today, I'll be comparing these two jerseys. One is from Nike, and the other one is from Mitchell and Ness. As far as the price goes, Mitchell and Ness is a little bit more expensive. It's $130, whereas Nike is $110. So there's a little bit of difference in price, but it's not that much different. And before we get into the review, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well as liking the video. Appreciate your support and let's get into this. So we'll be looking at the Nike jersey first. It has a v-neck. This trim has four colors, brown, white, teal, and purple. Same thing with the armhole, four colors. For Nike swoosh, it's in white. And this is the main part the mountain and the jazz and also the number this mountain is just a print so I believe this is a white base so as you can see on the back so this part is actually not a purple fabric it's a white fabric that is screen printed to purple so that's how they have this mountain part and that's how they can achieve this gradation of going from white to purple so this is also print, the blue, the shadow of the mountain. The shadow looks pretty good and the gradation looks okay. Not bad. See so right here. I feel that I could go a little bit more lower, but it may just be too much. And this part is a fabric patch has different colors to it four different colors or five including the the black one this is also a printed on a twill fabric so if you look at it closely you could see the line smudging a little bit And it's for the whole logo and including this this part and this part it may come off easily so be careful I would put a fabric on top of this and lightly iron on top of it so it stays on a little bit better and just in case the the heat didn't go through completely when they were making it It's in an angle, going up, and for the number, same thing, tool fabric, and screen printed on. To the balance of the number, I feel that this is a lot more noticeable, a lot bigger, compared to the jazz part. This feels a little bit more emphasized. Than the jazz the players patch is right here same thing the usual second year patch and here's the back the armhole of oh. here's the neckline on the back side same thing with the armhole goes throughout because this is a swingman jersey has a separate panel right here and NBA logo right here has a hardwood classic patch so it has a little tint of yellow to it and it's a screen print or it's a rubber print or patch Mitchell 
The name is twill fabric, all cut individually, and I see no problem with its construction. The line looks pretty sharp, maybe not here, but overall looks good. The back number still has this three colors to it, and same fabric. And for the back, it's just a solid color, solid purple. And there's no side panel, I think because they have this mountain printed. The Mitchell and Ness version, this is also a Swingman. So it's a, bit, it's a similar price point. Let's look at the neck. This is also a V-neck, have same color, same as Nike, and the trim right here are matching each other. NBA logo is in gold, and this is like a patch, but it's just glued on. There's no stitching to it. The mountain and the gradation this is also a white fabric base and they print this as well as a purple on to have this color and print they have a gradation here feels that the gradation is a little bit more lower and a little bit shorter area of purple and jazz Unlike the Nike version, not all of the jazz part is a patch. So up to this part, this white edge and worse. So these two colors, they're print on a patch. But from red, black, and teal, this is all screen printed. So you can see a difference in texture. This is a lot more glossier, which is the patch part. So compared to Nike, so same thing here. Only the white, only up to the white outline is a patch. It is not stitched on, it's just glued on. There's no stitch here. Some of the jersey for Mitchell and Ness. They have fake stitches, but this one doesn't even have that. It's just heat adhesive. And this is the stitch that I was talking about. This one, this fake stitch, they don't even have it at the Jazz. And this is the number. So for this one, all the number is a patch. Single piece though, so these are just screen printed on the white fabric and the stitch, fake stitch, is also printed on. So this is also heat adhesive. And the player patch, Metro Ness, Harbor Classic, Carmel 96, 97. Harbor Classic Swingman jersey. Here's the neckline looks more rounded and same piece of rib knit and say Stockton this patch has a fake stitch too this is just a print it's not a real stitch I have it throughout and same thing here This one also doesn't have a side panel, probably because of the same reason, and also some of the older jerseys don't have a side panel to start with. So, I was just noticing, so it's Carmel on here. This is John Stockton jersey. Wonder if they made a mistake, or is this a jersey like that? 
I did buy this at Dick Sporting Goods. I don't think they sell fakes. So this must be a manufacturer flaw. Because I know I purchased Stockton. And the jersey number and the name is correct. It's just that patches Carl Malone. Weird. So let's compare these two jerseys real quick. The neckline. Nike is a lot more wider and it's not as deep. This one has more stronger V, whereas this one is a little bit more rounded V. That means this one has a little bit more opening and this one has a little bit tighter neck area. If you're going to wear hoodie over it I recommend this one because this one it's a little tight and it's not just for this model but Mitchell and Ness in general it fits a little bit more tighter around the neck area so if you want to fit loosely I prefer Nike let's look at the armhole so this is about the same position of the height this tape it goes that way it goes straight Whereas this one, it goes down a little bit. That means that this one will look a little bit better on the body compared to this one. This will stick out a little bit depending on how you wear it. And Mitchell and Ness jersey drops a lot lower compared to Nike. There's about a good half inch, to, uh, maybe an inch of difference between where this dropped at. And if you can see this part, it's not as curved, it's straight and a little bit of curve right here. This curve will determine how much space, how much depth you'll have on the side. Because this one doesn't have as much slope, it actually doesn't curve to your body a little bit better. So, if you look at this curve, they're completely different. This one is a lot more deeper and rounded compared to the Mitchell and Ness. The big difference between these two are how it fits on the side. When it's curved like this, that means there's more space You're on your underarm and your side. It'll curve to your body better, whereas this one is a little bit more straighter. So there will be like a little more gathering around this part, depending on how you wear it. And this one will be a little bit more tighter to the body. And I feel that this will fit better for someone that is a little bit more skinnier. It'll fit more smoother. But for someone that has more thickness, I think this is better. And especially if you're, wear if you're wearing a hoodie, I prefer this one over Mitchell and Ness. But if you're just wearing a t-shirt, this will fit your body a lot better. So when I compare the length from the shoulder, when it goes down, it's a little bit longer on Mitchell and Ness. And Nike doesn't have any slit, but Mitchell and Ness has a slit. It's not the fancy slit that Authentic Jersey has, but this is still good. A lot better than this one. And let's look at this color and where the print, where the print is. So when you compare these two jerseys, this one, Nike version, the mountain looks a little bit more compact. It looks like it's more from far away. Whereas this one, the mountain looks a little bit closer. It's a lot bigger print. And as far as the jazz goes, this is all patch, but this one, it's only partially part. It's only partially patch. But this jazz is a lot more visible than the Nike version. And if you look at the position of the jersey number, 
Mitchell and Ness is a lot lower. And Nike version is a little bit higher. So this one, the number looks bigger. This one, the jazz looks bigger. And also the way the gradation goes and also the color too. This one looks more like a berry color, whereas this one is more purple, like eggplant purple. And the gradation amount is different too. It's a lot higher up for Nike and it's a lot lower and a little bit less amount of purple or the berry color for the jazz. And for Nike, most of the bottom is just purple. So this has a little bit more softer gradation from white to purple at the very end. Whereas this one, it's white to purple, a little bit shorter. And you could see the perforation difference. Mitchell Ness has pretty big perforation, whereas Nike is very minimal, so you can't really see it. This white part, you see a perforation. So as far as the print goes, I like this one better because the print looks a little bit more smoother. But I wish the gradation was a little bit strong. Nicely transitioned like this one. The back feels pretty much the same, pretty much the same difference. The numbers seems a little bit bigger on the Mitchell Ness version, but it may be the same. So after trying these on, I feel that Mitchell and Ness is good for wearing over a t-shirt or by itself, and Nike is better if you're wearing a hoodie. I personally like both of them, but if I were to choose, I would go with this one just because it's a lot easier to wear um, when you layer them. But the quality looks better on this one. My issue with Mitchell and Ness most of the time is the neckline. It's a little bit tight for me as well as the armhole. It feels a little too high up. So because I wear a t-shirt or a hoodie underneath, um, there's too much fabric gathering right here. Other than that, I like this one. And Mitchell and Ness is a little bit heavier too. And compared to Nike. I'm not sure if that's necessarily a good thing because this is a very standard fabric with perforation on it. Whereas this one is a little bit more advanced technology, I think, as far as the fabric goes. So if you're going to wear it regularly, I will go for this one. If you're gonna wear it if you want to show off, I think Mitchell and Nessa is a lot better. They do have a different purpose to it, so it's hard to compare these two. But this definitely has a lot more nostalgia to it compared to this one. So yeah, that's it for today. Let me know how you feel about these two jerseys, if you pick them up or not. By the way, I got this one on sale. It was like $90, but I probably need to return it because of this little weird issue here. But that's it for today. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, as well as liking the video. Appreciate your support, and see you next time.